All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over how to import your Shopify conversions into Google Ads. So how you can import really your Shopify transaction data right into Google Ads so that you can optimize for it in your campaigns. So it's an important step you wanna take really before you ever get started running any of your campaigns. So when you go into your Google Ads account, one of the things you wanna do is come up to tools here in the top corner and under measurement, you wanna click conversions and you're gonna see a screen that just looks just like this. And this is where you can import all of your conversions that you're gonna be optimizing for. So the way I like to do it is if we come over to Google Analytics first. So we come to our Google Analytics screen and where I wanna start is the main admin screen. So you wanna take, go into property settings here and you wanna take the UA code that Google Analytics will give you. So it should look like a string of numbers, UA dash, and then zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dash one. So something like that. And what you wanna do is under property settings, you wanna take your UA code and you wanna come over to Shopify and you wanna copy and paste it. So you come into online store here, you go to preferences and you wanna enter your Google Analytics account code right here so here's one ua-66 and a string of more numbers and you can find that by going to google analytics and going right to your property settings so when you click on property settings you're going to see it right there you just want to copy that and paste it directly into google analytics and then you also want to use enhanced e-commerce and you get to this page in shopify by going to online store down the left hand side so when you sign into your shopify website you're in your admin screen um, and you can really just take your url here dot my shopify.com slash admin slash online underscore store slash preferences so you go into online store and then preferences and then google analytics you want to enter that code and enhanced e-commerce so that's all you need to do first to get started that so that's going to put google analytics on your shopify website now the next thing you need to do is come over here to e-commerce settings and you wanna make sure you enable e-commerce and enable enhanced e-commerce reporting and click on save. So when you come in here, if this says off, just make sure you select on and on and you can do this underneath the view portion of your Google Analytics account in the admin screen. So we're right in admin right now. So you come over here to e-commerce settings and you click on, on and click on save. Okay, just a quick disclaimer. So all of these videos are being done on behalf of a client, zerocompressionbackbrace.com. So there's certain information I'm not gonna show to you uh, in terms of sales data and things like that. Now, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section. But because this client has allowed me to create videos using their website and using their advertising accounts, it allows me to release these videos for free rather than giving you a paid course. So if you do need a back brace, go to zerocompressionbackbrace.com. Otherwise, keep watching our Shopify videos. Thank you for watching our videos and now back to it. So that's the first two things you need to get started. And what that's gonna allow you to do is come in here to conversions and if you go to e-commerce and overview, you can actually track all of your Shopify conversions directly into Google Analytics. So your transactions, your average order value, your revenue, your conversion rate. So all of that will be tracked right into Google Analytics. And one of the main things you're gonna see here is transactions. So what we're gonna do now is come back over to Google Ads. So we're gonna come to Google Ads here and the next thing you wanna do is make sure your Google Ads and Google Analytics accounts are linked. So you're gonna come here to Tools and you're gonna to Linked Accounts. So when you click on Linked Accounts, you're gonna see a page that looks like this. And here you can just click on Google Analytics and click on Details and make sure that your accounts are linked. Now the other way to do this as well is if you go into Google Analytics and you come back into your admin screen here. So what you can do in Google Analytics is just go here and do Google Ads linking and just make sure that your account is linked right here. So you can do it one way or the other. And it's gonna allow your Google Analytics and Google Ads accounts to basically communicate and send data back and forth to each other. So now that you have your accounts linked, you have Google Analytics set up on your Shopify website, what you can do now is import transactions directly into Google Ads. So we're gonna come over here to conversion actions. So you're gonna to go to tools and conversions in your Google Ads account. So that's gonna allow you to get to this page. So what you can do now is click on the plus sign. We can come over here to import. So it's gonna say import conversions from another system, including Google Analytics. So you obviously need Google Analytics on your Shopify website so that you can record data on your website. And then you obviously need your accounts linked. So we click right here and click on continue. So what it's gonna show now is the transaction data right here. So this is our transaction conversion. So we can click on it and we can click on import and continue. So now we've imported one transaction from Google Analytics. So we can click on done now, 
come over to conversion actions and what we can do is click on transactions right here and it's going to have some details so we can click on edit settings and what we can say is conversion name transaction category is going to be purchase sale so we click on save value it's going to use the value and currency from analytics and use the same currency as in analytics so we'll click on save source is going to be analytics so since we have our accounts linked so everything else looks good all website data transaction we're going to count every single conversion our conversion window will be 30 days we want to include it in conversions and then under attribution model so i recently did a video about attribution models you really want to use data driven if you just really want to count last click conversions, so it gives all the credit to the last click ad you can do that you can do linear um, so that's going to distribute clicks equally so if people make multiple clicks before they actually convert on your website then you can use linear um, or you can use time decay so that gives more credit to the clicks that happen closer in time to the conversion so just a few different options when it comes to attribution models and you can look at your attribution modeling reports if you want more information about this um, we also have a video on our channel that will be very helpful about attribution models and reports so you click on save now and we can click on done so now we have our transaction imported into Google Ads we're using the value and currency from analytics for this transaction and the last thing we want to do is we want to open up our campaign okay so we've opened up our search campaign here so you can see if you go into your all campaign screen under Google Ads you can open up one of your search campaigns and it's gonna you can come right into settings here so under settings here's kind of the settings I generally use especially when I'm first getting started so you can see I have my campaign name status right now is pause I'm still building the campaign my goal is sales so my goal for this campaign is to drive sales um, so networks I use Google search network and search partners do not use the Google display network for search campaigns use that just for display network campaigns so you can do United States or whatever your locations are languages um, so budget whatever your budgeting is per day bidding I like to start with a cost per click with the enhanced bidding strategy and ultimately what I want to do is get to target return on ad spend particularly for Shopify campaigns so start and end dates if you want to do that now the last thing will be conversions so ad rotation I keep as optimized but under conversions what I want to do is choose conversion actions for this campaign and click on select conversion actions so what I want to do is use transactions so that means that my conversion actions for this campaign it's going to optimize for transactions I can click on save and you can use multiple conversions at once I'll show you how to do that in the future um, but this is really where you want to get started so you're trying to drive transactions with your campaign and we're going to click on save so now it's that simple we're all ready to go we can start optimizing for transactions in this campaign um, so if you have any questions leave them in the comment section thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the surfside ppc youtube channel